Hi guys, this is me, Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. This is August the 10th, 2017 at 10.18 p.m. a.m. a.m. And what I wanted to talk about, some of you who are subscribers, regular viewers, etc. know that I have full-time RV for 25, 30 years, long time. Pulled a travel trailer all over the western USA and live in a travel trailer right now at my home base, a 26-foot Jayco J-Flight bunkhouse model. And I've had it since 2013, and I'm fixing to give it to my son and get me another RV, a Coachman. Oh, what is it called? It is called a uh, Cadet something, 20, or 16 CBH, a small one, a lightweight one. Weighs 2,360 pounds that I can tow with my V6 Ram pickup. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to go, I'm not going to do a lot of traveling but i'm going to do some i'm going to get out of texas in the hot heat of the summer but that's not the purpose of this video to tell you who i am <clears throat> i just wanted to give you a little lead in so you know that i'm talking from experience <clears throat> uh, one of the important things for you new guys or old guys that have been on the road for years and years and years for you people that have been on the road for years and years and years you may not need it anymore but what i think is important in the beginning and I still use it now because I'm 72 years old and I'm getting more and more forgetful because as you get older your memory goes boop gone and uh, and it's just natural there's nothing you can do about it you can't take a pill to make it work better <clears throat> so what I suggest is a towing checklist in other words like a pre-flight on an aircraft where you get you sit down with paper and pen and write down the things that you need to do prior to pulling away from your campsite or your home base in my case <clears throat> you know like you know disconnect the sewer hose and and uh, disconnect the electric get the jacks down put steps up get tv antenna down that's the outside stuff <clears throat> most of it leave the water hose till last because you want to wash your hands uh, right before you leave just don't forget to unhook it and put it away <clears throat> Yeah, but again, do leave the garden hose or your water hose for last, and there is a good reason for that, because if you want to pee or poop, whatever you got to, you know, before you leave, or particularly you want to wash your hands, because after you've handled your uh, drain hose, you know, you want to wash your hands. But anyway, that's the outside stuff, and then on the inside, of course, you know, you're going to have stuff that you put out after you've been in a campsite. Say you stayed at a place for a week. Well, you know, you're going to have some kitchen utensils out, probably some bath stuff, maybe some stuff on the dining room table. Uh, if you have a TV that's on a mount, uh, you're probably good to go there. But if you have a TV like I do that's a freestanding TV, then you need to put it. I usually lay it down on, in this case, the, in the new uh, RV that I've ordered. I'll just lay it face down on the bunk bed to be good to go. And anything else, as most of you senior RVers know, uh, the stuff you have around the kitchen sink, can go in the kitchen sink okay and that keeps it from rattling around and falling on the floor and anything that's in anything that's not secured you need to secure it in other words lock your uh, refrigerator door there's a way in rvs they have a refrigerator door that has a way to lock them so to speak not with a key or anything but it has a locking mechanism so the door won't swing open when you're traveling and the same way with your cabinets just be sure all the doors are shut securely or else you'll find all that stuff right at the door of your RV when you open it at the next campground. Uh, what else? <clears throat> of course, for me, I always turn off the, as I noted in another video I just posted, uh, I always turn the refrigerator off and I also turn the propane off at the front of the RV at the tank. And, of course, that solves a lot of issues right there. But as far as the inside, since it's just me, you know, most, if it's a couple, usually the husband takes care of the outside stuff and the woman takes care of the inside stuff and they're ready to go but for me i'm the both I'm, i gotta remember to do everything inside and outside so i do make a checklist and i usually make a copy of it and i'll have one in the truck and then i'll have one on the dining room table and when i get ready the morning i get ready to go because i always leave early in the morning going to the next campsite and uh, so i've got one on the dining room table and as i do things you, know, you, you do it pretty much remotely, you know, you just go do, 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 you know, to be sure you, you know, get ready to go. But then what I do, I'll come inside and I'll go down the checklist and say, okay, I did that, did that, did that, did that. But I make sure I read every item because sometimes if you don't read every item, you'll overlook the obvious one and you'll pull out and you'll forget to have 
forgotten how to put, un un unhook the electric or something stupid like that, or maybe you know your steps up, your antennas up. Use the the thing that's forgotten the most often. Years ago, they had the old crank up antennas. Most of the RVs now don't have that. It's just a fixed in place antenna and a lot of people don't even crank up antennas anymore because they got dish satellite and all that stuff but for those that have the old crank up antennas uh, that was the thing that people forgot you'd see them going down the highway and their antennas just blowing in the wind so to speak and also the, another thing that people forget very often is to put up the steps on a travel trailer or fifth wheel or in a motorhome most of them are electric so you can't forget them if you shut the door the steps come in but it's always a good idea to check that because if you pull into a gas station that has a, a pretty good dip, uh, sometimes you can leave that step right there. And uh, what else? Uh, but anyway, so and, and also what I do because I always take a snack, uh, you know, with me so that I don't have to stop, you know, for everything. I mean, except for gasoline, I usually take me a snack and I might have my a, a light lunch uh, already in the cab of the truck so that I don't have to. Uh, stop at all now, other than if I want to stop and pee or something like that but I usually take plenty of water in the cab uh, with me so that you know, I'm good to go for you know six hours without stopping uh, except to get gas and that's it and so what I do I usually put one of those little post-it notes uh, on the radio in the uh, truck you know the final things you know like you know the you know, you know the uh, snack uh, drinking water and you know, for me here on the way out to Put up the chain the, that I put across my driveway because I have a home base in Central Texas, and uh, you know just those last-minute things. And so I look at that when I get in the truck because again I'm 72 years old, I'm single, and it's really easy to forget stuff as you get older. And I don't think anybody's ever forgotten to put in the awning, but it wouldn't surprise me. And I don't think anybody's ever forgotten to bring in their pop-out, but again that wouldn't surprise me uh, because you know you just kind of you know, you get so used to doing it that it's, uh, you know, you're kind of on remote. And, uh, yeah, it's easy to overlook things. But, yeah, you, you, you know, don't forget you got a bathtub. Uh, what, I can, what I do in there is I put a towel in the bathtub in the bottom, and then there, I'll set some stuff in there if, if I have that much stuff. Now, the next, the RV that I've got on order that should be in here uh, mid-September, I think, Again, it's a cheapie. I, I paid 9750 9, for it. It's a 2018 Coachman uh, Cadet 16 CBH. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't have anything. I mean, it's, it's basic, basic, basic. And that's what I want. Of course, I full-time RV. It it, the strangest thing, though, it is basic, basic, basic. But it comes with a power awning. <laughs> what the hell is that? I mean, it doesn't have a roof AC. It has a window AC. You know, so it's just some basic stuff, and that's all I want. I'm going to give this existing uh, RV to my son. He may want to use it. He's got a bigger truck. He can tow it pretty easy because this thing weighs about 4,000 pounds. I couldn't tow it with my V6 at all. And uh, and I hadn't really planned to go back to traveling, uh, pulling RVs, but uh, I think I will. But I, I'm not going to do it like I used to. I'm just going to tow to a certain location uh, and be there for a month, two or three months, whatever. Because what all, my, all I really want to accomplish since I live in Central Texas, is to get out of the summers, the Texas summer heat. That's it. So I'm going to be going out into New Mexico. I'm going to be looking for an elevation around 6,000 feet or above, and I'll find a campground that's, you know, reasonably priced under $400, including electric, and, uh, and I'll do that for three or four months uh, starting next summer. So having said that, guys, for you people that are going to go RVing, particularly you new guys, until you get used to the routine, uh, make you a checklist because it is really easy to overlook something and uh, you know you, come, you you get to your oh, have I ever got to a campsite and opened the de uh, door and stuff in the refrigerator came rolling out yeah because I forgot to lock the refrigerator door uh, what else have I done oh antenna I can't tell you how many times I forgot to bring it down uh, what else the step uh, I forgot that a few times but the the checklist does help you know, it's all, you know, what it is, is, is you know, I, I was, even today, I have little knickknacks around, and, and, and in the new travel trailer, I'm not going to have anything. It's just going to be blank. So if I get ready to go traveling, all i got to do is hook up. You know, the inside stuff will be minimal, and uh, I'll just put stuff in the sink. Uh, it doesn't have a bath sink. It just has a kitchen sink and a bathtub, so I'll just use those two spots. And it's got two small bunk beds, 
I can put a lot of stuff, well, a lot of stuff. I'm not going to have a lot of stuff. But having said that, point of this video, folks, towing an RV or traveling in a travel trailer, particularly, or, or RV, have a checklist, okay? Anyway, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, 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 USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day will not hurt you. Drinking a lot of water every day will help you a hell of a lot, and here's why. It will help you avoid gout. It will help you avoid kidney stones. It will help you lose weight because you'll feel full. You won't want to snack. And also, if, you have a, if you're a diabetic or you have problems with the sugar levels or insulin levels in your blood, <clears throat> uh, it will help level that out. And uh, so that's just drinking plenty of water. The next thing is to take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth several times a day. Why? It's a simple thing to do. And what does it do? It relieves stress. Relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Lowering your blood pressure is good for you. So those two things right there are something that you have 100% control over and they are good for you. So give them a shot. You know, you know, you might as well stay healthy and that way you will enjoy your camping trips a lot more. That's for sure. And uh, anyway, also, you know, stretch, walk, keep busy. And, uh, you know, the whole focus should be keep your health. You know, don't eat so much. You don't eat out much. Don't keep junk food in the house because if you don't, you won't eat it because you don't have it. And uh, so, anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA at 1030 a.m. Central Daylight Time, I guess. Thumbs up. Enjoy your day and enjoy your travels. Adios. Bye-bye.